Hello guys, so in this short video, we're gonna explore uh, the basic amplifier configurations or topologies that you're gonna see basically you know, in the following recordings and examples that we're gonna solve, okay? So we can construct uh, BGT amplifiers in many ways and or many circuits basically, you know? And of course, each circuit has its own characteristics and uh, amplification characteristic. I mean, its own EV, its own voltage gain, or its own or input, the input resistance or output resistance. So basically we can tweak, we can play, we can control the gain, the input resistance, the output resistance based on the circuit itself or the amplifier co configuration or both, okay? So the first and most famous, you know, uh, amplifier configuration is called common emitter amplifier. And you know, a rule of thumb here, uh, whatever common is basically uh, doesn't have input or output. So here it's called common emitter. That means the input and the outputs will be connected to the base and the collector and the emitter is common between them. Okay, so let's start here uh, by, you know, it's a general configuration. Look at this general configuration in here. So the input is at the base and we're gonna read the output at the collector. Of course, the, basically the emitter is zero. If you take your output from the, from the ground, it will show zero all the time. Okay, so it's really obvious here. Okay, this is the first configuration. And then you can play, remember, we need for the amplification, we need a biasing, okay? So you can play with the biasing in any way you want. So you can find a common emitter like this. Here is the biasing. Or you can, you can see it like this with a voltage divider biasing, okay? But what's common between that one and that one although the biasing is different, is that the input is at the base and the output is at the collector. And just to wonder, I know that you uh, these uh, symbols may, may not, you, you, you may not familiar with. So this is basically a mic. I'm sorry, this is basically a speaker and this is basically a mic. So one important and very famous application for the amplifiers, you know, is the sound systems. If you are in a hole or something and you wanna, you know, uh, reach to, you know, uh, as many as a uh, number of people, you may use a mic. A mic is connected to the amplifier. The mic will convert your sound signal into electrical signal. Okay, then it would be transferred to an amplifier, you know, this big thing. And this amplifier will amplify your voice and send it to the speaker. So more and more people can hear you. Okay, this is, you know, the most famous application for amplifiers. Okay, that's basically the first uh, uh, configuration. The second configuration is common base amplifier. And again, whatever common wouldn't have, wouldn't have an input or output. So here we say common base. So basically the inputs, the input and the output will be basically connected to the emitter and the collector. So let's check. So here the input EC is connected to the emitter. And the output is connected to the collector, okay? And basically, this is not an input. I mean by input and the output, the input EC and the output EC, the input that we want to amplify and the output that would be amplified, basically, or the amplified version of the input. So that's not EC input. That's for biasing. This source in here is not an input. That's just for biasing. Basically, we need the point seven here. Remember VBE. Okay, and all those common base, the input is at the emitter, 
the output that the collector. And again, we can uh, we control the biasing of the, we can control basically our input, our output, and the voltage gain, basically, and even the biasing won't, of course, uh, basically uh, using different biasing circuits. So here are two examples of the biasing circuits, but both have the same common feature that they are common based amplifiers. Both have input at the emitter, output at the collector, and the base is just common between them. Okay, so here is, for example, the input is at the emitter in here, and here is the output at the collector. And again, this guy is for biasing. This is not an AC input. Another, you know, uh, biasing configuration in here. Uh, again, the input is at the the uh, emitter, and the output is at the collector. And the base is just to come in between them. Okay. Finally, we have the common collector. So basically, we have our three terminals. So we take common emitter, common base, and of course, obviously the last one should be common collector. It has a different and maybe more famous name, it's called source forward. And we're gonna, you know, analyze it in the future and know why it's called source, it can be called source forward. This guy again has uh, the input at the in, uh, base and the output is at the emitter and the, the collector now is common. So here, look, the input is at the emitter, uh, the base and the output is at the emitter. And the collector will be common between them. And the word the common will become also clear when we you know, analyze these circuits and draw their equivalent circuits, you know, in the future. Just the next video. And here again, we play with the biasing in any way you, we want based on the application needs. Here is the voltage divider biasing, for example. But again, the input is at the base, the output is at the emitter. Here is another form of biasing. But again, the input is at the base and the output is at the emitter. Both are common collector amplifiers. Okay, now one may ask which is better, common emitter or common collector or common base? And the answer is not, uh, the answer basically is that it depends on the application. So, based on your, because each one has its own characteristics. Okay. Each one has its own EV, its own or input, its own or output. Okay, so based on your application needs, might be a source forward is better than common base, or you know, common is better than common emitter or common base. For some other application, maybe common base is better, and so on. So it dependent on the applications. How we can know that? based on the characteristics that each one will provide us, as we will see just in the next video. So in the next videos, we're going to start by common emitter, take examples on it, uh, then we go to common base, and finally common collector. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, and see you in the next one.